All right, guys, welcome back to another one of our market updates with Mark Cassell, Landon McKernan. We're going to talk through some of our activity on our team and what we're seeing in the market as well. Um, one thing that I know we've been super active on is sale leasebacks. Yeah. The majority of our transactions, especially over the past couple of years, have been sale leasebacks. And that's where the seller sells to an investor and leases back for a period of time um, and ultimately remains as the tenant. I mean, what, what are some of the advantages that you're seeing on, on sale leasebacks? Yeah, there's actually quite a few. So obviously with rates going up, it's a cheaper access to capital um, instead of going to a bank. So you can sell your property, let's just say on the average of kind of what we're seeing at a 6.5% cap rate. And a bank right now might even charge you from eight to nine percent. So it's a cheaper way to access that capital that you've got locked into your real estate. Um, obviously, building values are still pretty high, which is really nice. And then you continue to operate out of the property for as long as the lease back terms are as well. So it allows you to inject that capital back into your business, maybe buy another building or consolidate. It's really up to you. And it does have flexible lease term options because you are in charge of the terms that you wanted to negotiate on as well, which is good. But that's kind of what we've done over the last, I would say, 24 months, a lot of, and it's helped out a lot of business owners um, unlock that capital in their real estate and get better deals than bank financing traditionally. Yeah, I think those are all really good points. Actually, yeah. one thing to touch on that we're seeing is obviously a lot of people are looking to expand right now as well. There's very limited inventory out there yeah. in the market. And by doing a sale lease back now, they can lease back for a few years, unlock that capital, have yeah. it ready to deploy when the next building comes available. And um, that way they they have the capital for you too. Yeah, I think it's pretty solid. And uh, I feel like it's a pretty proven strategy. Um, oftentimes, I'm sure we see this, I don't know, maybe eight or nine times out of 10, where the real estate is more valuable than the actual business. So it's kind of a nest egg for a lot of these owners that have, might have been operating um, for maybe 20, 25 years to get over that next hump as well. So, I agree.